Within a moment, there's a tap on the linen fold panel door and she puts her fair head into my room and says, Oh, are you studying? As if I ever do anything else. Certainly that was my intention when I closed my door. She's deaf to irony. What do you think the Duke of Somerset is coming here for? She asks, tripping into the room without any invitation. Mary trails in behind her, as if my rooms are a royal presence chamber and anyone can get past the sergeant porter if they have good enough clothes. Are you bringing that disgusting monkey in here? I cut across her as I see him riding on her shoulder. She looks shocked. Of course I am. Mr Nozzle goes with me everywhere, except when I visit the poor bear. He is afraid of the poor bear. Well, he can't come in here and spoil my papers. He will not. He will sit on my lap. He's a very good Mr Nozzle. Take him out. I won't. Take him out. I command it. You can't make me. I am the oldest and these are my rooms. I am the prettiest and I am visiting you from politeness. We scowl at each other. She shows me his silver chain that goes around his scrawny black neck. Jane, please, I will hold him tight, she promises. I shall hold him for you, Mary offers. So now I have the two of them in my rooms, clamouring to hold the monkey, and they should not be here anyway. Oh, just go, I say, both of you. But instead, Catherine turns and hauls Mary up into the chair while the child sits, no bigger than a doll, smiling at me with all the charm in the world. Sit straight. Catherine reminds her, and Mary puts back her shoulders and sits up tall. No, just go. I will as soon as I have asked you this question. Catherine is happy because she's getting her own way as usual. She is ridiculously pretty and about as sensible as Mr Nozzle. Very well, I say. Ask your question and then go. She takes a breath. What do you think the Duke of Somerset is coming here for?